Yo, what's going on, GTA gang? I am Marty Marty Gaming. This is Marty Marty Gaming, and I'm back with another episode, y'all. This is gonna be episode uh, 18 right here, man. And we got uh, some more vehicles we didn't cop in store for y'all, man. You know, adding to that GM list. Uh, we almost finished, y'all. Almost there. Just a couple vehicles away, man. Just a couple vehicles away. But we over here at the nightclub, real quick. We're gonna go ahead and collect. From the safe real quick, cause the capacity seventy thousand. We at sixty six, so we'll only be able to pay four thousand in that for the night. So we're gonna go ahead and get that out of there, so we can make at least a, a eight buck or something, eight thousand or something real quick. So yeah, hopefully y'all having a good GTA week, man. It is July fifth. We just dropped the video uh, yesterday, man, on July fourth, man. And yeah, today we in the Nova thing, man. We went and seen that uh, Fast and Furious 9. And they, you know we had to pull out the Chevy that they had in there, man. They ain't really had too many. But they did have this old school Nova in there. And uh, ironically, we already had this thing silver. So all we did was went and add the livery, the livery to it with the black racial stripes. Just as it was in, um, in Fast and Furious 9, man. And this thing fast, just like Fast and Furious 912. Y'all hear that thing crank up? Yeah, that old school sound. I love it, man. I love it. But we're going to go ahead and head over to the uh, to the office real quick to show y'all the two vehicles. We Yeah, we're doing two vehicles this episode, y'all. And we'll show y'all why when we make it to the uh, office. Well, yeah, like we said, man, the Nova Fast, we've been liked at this one, man. It's one of our favorite uh, vehicles. And you know, uh, it's a Chevy, so we got to love it, man. But, yeah, uh, got a little test drive. If y'all ain't seen the video on this one, see how it ride a little bit. If you don't got one, I definitely, um, I definitely think you should cop one, man. It's, they pretty nice. Go ahead and put it back up in the garage, y'all, because we only riding it just because we saw the Fast and Furious 9, and we it was adding a livery to it. But we're going to go ahead and put it back up in the right, in this rifle's place in the garage. And um, we do got to sit next to that uh, Chevelle Malibu that we just did the last episode, y'all. So they both are 70s, so, you know, we put them right next to each other, man. You can tell from the front end they look kind of similar. And we got the uh, secondary colors, the trimming and stuff, silver for now, y'all. But when we get that chrome unlocked, we're definitely going to change it up. We're going to have to change it up on a couple of these cars, man. This one, I think that one, that one. Yeah, we, on all the old schools, it deserves some chrome, man. So we got to go back on all the old schools and do that chrome over. It looks like it got a little chrome in it already. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead upstairs, y'all, and show y'all them two vehicles we talking about. But they not even here, is they? Nope, they in the other garage. They in the garage too, man. Alright. Get on over to office garage too, man. And we gonna be pushing a lot of video. Well, not a lot, but we trying to push the videos out quickly, man. We are supposed to have the GM garage completed by July 1st. And here it is, July 5th, and we still a couple cars away, a couple cars away, so let's get upstairs. That's why we're going here, going to knock two of them out right here, and we have a couple videos left, man. we we getting towards the end. It's fourth quarter. All right, y'all. We done moved the bourbon over here, too, y'all. All right. So here y'all have it, man. These are 1928s. Well, we know this is 1928 right here, man. Uh, these are 1920s. Man, we uh we know these Al Capone replicas, man. Al Capone had two whips like these, man. And this one being the most famous one, that green right here. And this one, that uh I think it was one of his limousines or something, y'all. But we're going to do the best we can. Uh, we gonna probably keep them all original, just soup them up, you know, we never know if we riding around in these and get into a jam, but we gonna make them all as spectacular as they can be, man, because you know Al Capone had them things right, 
He was rich back in the day, man. Rich uh, Kingpin, man. So shout out to the Capone family, y'all. And let's go on here and get this thing. Oh, yeah, you see the insides of it, y'all. Well, we had these for a minute, too, y'all. We're going to go ahead and show y'all how much they is on the... Uh, show you how much they is on the website real quick. I think one of them is actually on sale this week. But we got these back uh, on Valentine's Day Massacre week, y'all. Nah, they ain't on this website. They on Legendary Motorsports. So we got these back on the Valentine's Day weekend, and we got them for a steal, y'all. They was uh, like, uh, it was probably more than half percent off or something, or 50% off, y'all. But let's go down and see the prices. Right now, um, one is 750000 That's that famous, most famous one, that green. And the other one was on sale this week, y'all. It's uh they want five eighty nine for it, but the original price nine eighty two. We believe we got both of them for under five hundred thousand. So probably playing a million for both. But since we in the green, man, we're gonna go ahead and go down there and modify it real quick. And we did take a peek down here in the garage already when we got them. It's not gonna be a lot to fix these up, man. So we're gonna go ahead and put the arm on this one at thirty. I think this one cheaper too, y'all. But I'm at thirty thousand. We're gonna pick the brakes seven. Okay. Even though we ain't gonna be racing it or nothing, but we want the best of the best. We know Al Capone had it souped up, man. Like Alright, leave the headlights and neon alone. The plates, we're gonna leave alone. We're not gonna respread y'all, we're gonna keep it. We think GTA did a good job already. No suspension work. Race transmission, turbo, and we're going to leave the wheels alone too, y'all. Uh, we don't think he had that thing tinted, man, so no tint. And that's all to that, y'all. We ain't spent no money on that thing. That was no time. So we're going to go ahead, exit out real quick, and go ahead and get a little test drive up the street and back with this thing. Gonna go ahead and pop all the guts for y'all too, real quick. Uh, no trunk pop, all the doors. Y'all see that big old school V12 looking thing up under that. But yeah, let's restore those, y'all, and get on out of here. Take test drive. Wow, that thing take off a little bit. Oh, got a little take off to it. That's how Al Capone was getting up out of there back in the day, y'all. Whoa. Okay. Whoa, whoa. We actually saw these out on, on July 4th, y'all. One of these was on. We don't know if it's this, this was the exact one, but it was an a old school like that, man. They had the doors off it and all. And, um, it was real slow though, man. I was behind him. I had to go around him, bro. This, these is moving too slow. Oh. So this probably, this, this it ain't that fast, y'all. So it's probably equivalent to one in real life or something. Y'all hear that old school horn? Alright y'all, let's go ahead and get this thing put up. Y'all see the little lights on the side pop up? Yeah, we, we done seen some old school movies, man. They done had these cars, man. Grandma had us watching those. Those old western joints and all that, man. We used to see these in the movies, man. We was back in cars. We liked the cars back then, man. That, that would have been great to uh, ride one of these, man. We might add that to our bucket list, y'all. Try to ride one of these. Get up in one of these or something, man. Ride around. Probably should. Pretty sure if we go down south, man. We'll be able to catch a ride in one of these or something. But yeah, let's go ahead and get over here to this one, man. So we can get that downstairs. We think this one gonna be a little faster. We don't know what was uh, up with this one. Maybe because it was a limousine, so it was a little more fancier. But it got more options to uh, to do stuff on this one, y'all. 
So you see the armor on the other one was 30,000 for 100 percent. This one 50. The brakes a little more too, so it's a little more expensive thing. Uh, we're gonna put the elegance. Uh, the same Albany, you know, which is stands for Cadillac in GTA, man. We're gonna Whatever pick that up here because we know Al Capone Technology had the, the, the whips, you know, as elegant as they can Girl be. Is looking good. The best thing money can buy back then, so we think we're gonna leave the ash covers off. We like how that wheel looked, the white walls. We wide block them. Uh, we're gonna put the side hood grills on there because we just know. It was the best of the best, man. So, yeah, we probably gonna add both the uh, detail horns and all that to it. The spare wheel. We already got the, uh, let's see, do we put the spare wheel cover on there or do we put the, we, we lost y'all, we don't know. That's stock right there, that's spare wheel. So we probably gonna leave spare wheel the Albany badges on there. Matter of fact, we gonna put. We remember seeing something like this, y'all. So we might just put. Yeah, we might just put the uh, the it. diamond wing badge on there. Put the chrome deflectors. Pull on this. We gonna go you. all the way out. Anything it can offer, man. We gonna put on the. The light stands, y'all. Y'all see it? And it's on both sides too. I put them on there. You. Real spare wheel. Now should we put the spare wheel or the? We gonna put the cover on there. We gonna change this one pretty. to the cover too. You know, protect them spare wheels, y'all. Alright, so. We got all that, now we down to the, what, the engine? Put 33.5 on that engine, y'all. Now we ain't gonna change the grill out like that. We just gonna leave it as it is. Leave the hood as it is. Let's see what that horn is. Yeah, we gonna leave that horn. The lights. Let's see, plates, we probably changed them plates black or something. Wish we didn't have to have them yellow. Oh, we're going to leave that paint alone, y'all. We're going to leave that thing original as it came. The step size, we're going to add the step size. No suspension. Hit a $40,000 transmission. 50K on the tuner, y'all. Uh, we're going to leave the windows alone. And the, uh, well, the wheels alone and the windows. We don't think that thing was tinted or none of that. Or should we go with some light tint on it? We just gonna put some light tint on it because, you know, limousine thing. Al Capone probably was tucked in there. So, some light tint, man, and that's it, y'all. We, we still ain't, uh, ain't spent all over about, we, should, we ain't even spent 400000 on both of them. I'm putting them together, y'all. So let's go ahead and exit the ground. Get a quick test drive out of this one real quick, y'all. And add them to the garage, man. Add these to the collection. We will uh, have to move these over to uh, the first garage now. Let's pop them doors real quick. We will have to move these to the first garage, though, y'all. Because now these is our, the oldest vehicles we own right here so no trunk access at all to this thing there was no trunk on these i guess we had a little saddle bag and all that back there but y'all see the insides man nice old school vibe feel all right child let's go on here and get up out of here we're gonna take a test drive real quick So these ain't gonna be no ride around, y'all. We gonna be putting these things up. We like how that mesh look on the front. See how the bright look. Got all the scrub lights on and all that. And 
when we riding in this, we can have like six passengers. I think two people can uh, stand on the side and three people inside, man. So we can pull up like six deep and air it out. You hear me? So yeah, we, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. All right, it's time to go put it up. Yup, yup, time to go put it up. We crashing the old school, man. We can't be, can't be hitting nothing in this, man. It's the classic. Definitely one of the most, one of the most, well, if not one of the most, well, the expensive, most expensive. Because the way you gonna find another one of these at, man. Alright, so, we gonna go ahead, put these back in the garage, y'all. And we gonna get them moved over to the garage one. Move two of the latest vehicles over to garage two, y'all. And uh, that's gonna be another one, man. We're gonna end this video off like this, man. Hopefully, y'all having a good GTA week, making a lot of GTA money. We still in our July 4th little fit, man. We had on a little blue and white, you know, you know, red. But them is it, y'all. Them is it. Two of the most expensive cars we got, man. The rares. This is GTA, um, GM Way. This is GTA, man. I am Marty Marty Gamer. We're going to see y'all in the next episode, man. It's going to be back pretty quick.